Hi, I'm Dean Darwin. I'm the Senior Vice President of Worldwide Marketing. I'm here today with Ian Jones, who's the Vice President of Silverline Services. Uh, you know, uh, Ian, you're engaged with lots of co customer conversations. You're engaged around the world uh, as we start looking at the Silverline Deployment Services. So what can you tell us about the, the Silverline Deployment Services? What are you hearing from customers? So the, I suppose the key point of the Silverline Deployment is that it's all remote. So it's, we affect it remotely, we schedule it with the customers, and we make sure that obviously they, they know what to expect and what we're doing. But that enables us to implement these services 24 by 7 anywhere in the world. So it's a really slick deployment service. Now for DDoS, we can effectively switch that on within minutes. So if a customer is under attack and they provide us with the information and accept our terms, we can mitigate almost within minutes. For WAF services, that takes a little more time because we're talking to the customer about their applications, which applications they'd like to protect, and then we're agreeing the policies that we'll implement. So key point really is the remote and the effectiveness of those implementations. So the deployment process, I mean, if you could kind of walk us through the deployment process, it's, it's staged, there's intelligence in the process, Absolutely. more for WAF, but DDoS can be flipped literally on a switch. Yeah, so there's, there's two types of implementation with DDoS. There's, there's the, the planned implementation, where we talk to the customer about their requirements, um, we explain the different offerings that we have, how we can engage with them, how we can divert and, and manage traffic. and then. There's the emergency activation. Now, the emergency activation is really for customers that are currently under attack. Now, this is really where the customer has a, a, a situation at that precise moment that's impacting their business. So for that situation, we have a DocuSign terms and conditions. So the customer can accept our terms immediately. They don't need to worry about paperwork. It's just a signature, electronic signature. Once that's received and they accept those terms, we will mitigate within minutes. So we're not talking about setting up purchase orders and billing, and we're just signing it to the terms and agreement, and we're ready to protect. Absolutely, absolutely. And that's, again, it's a key point. Now, obviously, our preference is the planned deployment because we don't want customers to have the pressure and that real issue on their business because then, obviously, from their viewpoint, it's not a good time to start talking to somebody about a new service. Mm -hmm. So we make it as easy as we possibly can once we've mitigated, we then go back to the customer and say, okay, now what do you really want? Let's, let's make sure the system, the, the service is designed for what you're looking for, make sure it's configured appropriately, but that's after the mitigation's been dealt with. So you've been involved with these customers. What kind of feedback are you receiving after we've gone through the process, we've deployed the service, either uh, the, the active attack going on or through the planning process? What's the feedback you've heard? So the feedback's been excellent, um, primarily because of the, the effectiveness of how we, we talk to the customer and deal with the customer, the efficiency of that deployment, how rapid it can be, and primarily the skills of the SOC personnel. Because when the customer's being deployed, they're talking to the experts on the end of the phone. They're not talking to a salesperson. They're talking to an expert that knows about mitigation and is there purely to mitigate that attack at that time. So the customers really like that and they recognize that those skills are really what they're buying. It's not just the tools, it's the skills behind them. So that works really well. With the planned schedule um, mitigation, as it were, or service, it's a lot easier because you can talk to the customer about precisely what they're looking for. We can give them all the options that we have and there are many. And we can make sure that the, the service is really tailored for their precise requirements. And we can obviously scale that up and down very quickly. So if the customer changes their requirements, we can move that within moments just by reconfiguring their network. So it's, it's an easy way of... of so it's not one size fits all. We've, Absolutely. We, we're, we have the ability to tailor it to the customer's environment. Exactly, yeah. That's exactly. fantastic. Well, I know we've had great success so far with Silverline mm -hmm. and we're solving lots of customer problems. So if you're under attack uh, today, please contact f5.com and we'll get services on that right away. And if you'd like more information about the Silverline services, please go to f5.com forward slash Silverline. <laughs>